would you pay to increase your sex appeal? Later in the program, we'll talk to a local scientist who's now selling for $95 little bottles of a kind of love potion number nine just for women. That women are finding more sexual pleasure in their long-term relationships. It's somehow awakening romance. If you remember that old 60s rock and roll song, The Love Potion Number 9 was cooked up by a gypsy. This one is made by a biologist, a scientist, but it's that same voodoo. Take a look. This mainline biologist was part of the team at the University of Pennsylvania in 1986 that figured out how to isolate it, extract it from people, freeze it, and reconstitute it. And now she's synthesized it, bottled it, she's patenting it, and she's selling it. It's marketed as Athena Pheromone 1013, available only by mail order from the scientists' own wellness center for women, the Athena Institute. Until now, they've been mainly concerned with offering workshops, collecting data on maturing women's health, and selling books. But now, Dr. Winifred Cutler, PhD, is bottling a substance that some have called a love potion, and the shipping department is on the ping pong table on the garden level of her fine house in Haverford. We're selling a cosmetic fragrance additive. But what are you selling, Dr. Cutler? Oh, we're selling sex appeal. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. And do you think you can really apply it? Sex appeal is something that you can manufacture and put it in a bottle? No. I think we can sell a pheromone which, when added to a woman who can appreciate the changes that she starts to feel, she exudes the sex appeal. This is a trigger. According to the directions, the pheromone formula is mixed with a woman's favorite perfume. Her one-sixth of an ounce vial is dumped into four ounces of fragrance. Just tap it under the nose so she can appreciate the fragrance. A little drop here, a little drop there, a little drop there. That's all. How do you as a scientist separate out women feeling better because they've got perfume on daily versus women who are benefiting by your additive? The original study had no fragrance in it, and it was effective just as this unappetizing, uh, unesthetically pleasing alcohol-based uh, liquid. And so why add it to perfume then? Because it's aesthetically more pleasant. A woman can incorporate it into her beauty routine. I've, I described it to somebody as making me feel lighter and happier, and I like that. It's called Pheromone 1013. Even as the product is being sold, it's being subjected to a second level of testing. This time with women wearing it as the marketing suggests, blended with fragrance. This woman doesn't want anyone to know she's one of the testers, so you won't see her face. But you can know that she's 49 years old, self-employed, creative, divorced, and dating. I'd like to think that what would happen is that it can take the credit for making me attractive to somebody, and then I can take over <laughs> being the kind of person they want to remain attracted to. Sarah, as we'll call her, saw this ad that Dr. Cutler had placed in a business women's newsletter looking for testers. Sarah told me that while it didn't happen right away, for instance, the first day that she put it on, she has noticed that in just a couple of weeks, more men are flirting with her. I had a waiter walk over to me when the man I was with left me alone for a minute. He was very tall, and it was funny how he bent right up against my ear, and he asked me what I was wearing for perfume because it smelled... I forget his word, I think distinct, but anyhow, he wanted to get some for his girlfriend, <laughs> but he, he noticed it. And I think when a woman feels attractive, as you heard before, she starts to discover that in feeling attractive, she attracts people to her and she sets in motion um, sort of a fluid circle and she can't say where does one thing end and the other begin. So you're not making promises, but it's very enticing. But you don't think you're selling snake oil? Oh, absolutely not. I'm hearing two different kinds of reports. One is, I am attracting people to me, and I never did before. That was uh, Sarah's comment to me. She doesn't consider or didn't consider herself attractive. And now she's beginning to accept the idea that she's an attractive human being. And she's discovering it as she goes out in the world. I think that's fabulous. What's the other thing you're learning? that women are finding more sexual pleasure in their long-term relationships. It's somehow awakening romance in relationships that are stable, that are monogamous, that the women want to have stay monogamous, and they're delighted to find there's like a second honeymoon that they're experiencing. Dr. Cutler, you're a married woman. Are you using it? 
Uh, I would not ever want to announce something that my husband would know because I think a woman should keep the mystery. I can tell you that I totally believe in this product.